guys. So we have been moving some stuff around. I hope that this is not too echoey because this room is almost completely empty now. I basically have like some drawers over there and a little tiny set of drawers over there, an empty bookshelf and my computer. And that's pretty much the whole, uh, the whole room right now. Um, yeah. So we have been separating our stuff and boxing it up and putting it in storage because we're going to be selling the house now that, you know, we're divorced. We have to clean it up and everything first. And I have been dragging my feet a lot, <laughs> mainly because I don't want to move really, but you know, I kind of have to. I have just ordered a new bed so that I can get rid of the old bed that I have. Um, because when we were married, we had a California king size bed and um, I've been sleeping in it since we've been divorced and Kevin has moved into the spare bedroom with the spare bed. And I just really need a smaller bed because I mean, I feel like I'm sleeping on a whole freaking island. California king size beds are pretty big. Um, so yeah, I'm downsizing, getting a smaller bed, but um, that should be arriving hopefully next weekend. And uh, the old bed is going to be gone. And uh, I had to get new sheets and I had to get uh, new pillowcases and a new um, <clears throat> cover for the bed and all kinds of stuff like that. And yeah, so we've been um, washing curtains and trying to clean up a little bit, pack all of our stuff. We're going to have to pack up a bunch of the clothes that we don't wear anymore and either get rid of it or um, put it into storage because there's no reason for me to have scarves and uh, sweaters and all of that kind of stuff right now since it's like 80 degrees. So yeah, having to do all that kind of stuff and it's really annoying, but you know, it has to be done. And then I get to look for my own apartment, which is going to be fun. I have been looking and they can be kind of expensive, but you know, I'll make do. Um, so yeah, as you can see, not a lot of stuff in here. Um, that <laughs> the, um, I used to have two bookcases back there and one of them was taken to storage earlier today. And the other one, I guess, will probably go at some other point this weekend. So, yeah, it's going to be an empty room. Once I get my new bed, oh crap, I need to buy a new desk too. But uh, once I get my new bed, I'm going to be moving my desk with my computer into my bedroom. So, yeah, I'll be able to sit and chat while I'm laying on my bed if I want to, which would be nice. But, uh, yeah. So, um, I'll be able to play Minecraft and then just jump right into the bed, like two feet away and go to sleep if I want. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what's been going on. Uh, I just thought that I would make a quick vlog and, you know, tell you guys that I'm not dead. I am still here. I do plan on doing the vlog about the cruise at some point. I know I've been saying I will do it and I will, and it's not going to be anything that great by the time I get around to it. I'm probably going to have forgotten half the stuff that happened. And I'm just not going to be excited about it anymore because I'm just not very excited about anything lately. So, uh, yeah, anyway, but I did remember something that I wanted to show you guys. So, um, most of you are, or probably all of you are already subscribed to my gaming channel. So you will recognize this bad boy right here. Yes, it is the wheel from the MHC announcement videos. Uh, so I've been using this wheel since September of 2015, I think, because I've been doing the announcements for over a year now. Yeah, that's right. And I know I started in September. So I've been using this thing. This is just something that I like cut out. I had a, I went to the craft store and I bought a, um, it's like, it looks awful. Look at this. You can see like the ragged edges, but, um, <clears throat> I bought like this board, a whiteboard kind of thing that you could cut and play with and stuff. I think I like stuck a pin in the middle of it and just took a pencil and a piece of string, attached it all together and just did a circle around and then I took my X-Acto knife and I did that, made a little hole in it, put all this stuff on and there we go. That was my thing. I've got lots of glue on this 
that is not really sticking as well as it should. The wheel almost falls off every time I spin it. So I just really need a new one of these. So I was talking to my mom about it several months ago about how I really needed to make a new wheel, but I didn't know how I was gonna do it. And I had thought about just buying like a Lazy Susan and using it. And she said, well, you know what? A couple of Christmases ago, I won a Lazy Susan from some raffle kind of thing that she was involved with and she never uses it so she said that I could have it so so now I have this thing which has very very strange looking Frosty the Snowman on it <laughs> so um sorry Frosty but you're about to get painted over so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this and I've had this for a while and I just haven't done anything about it but it even has like a nice little thing right here so I could just stick this onto something and let it stand up by itself and when I do that it spins much better than the wheel that I have right now so look at that oh it's so nice so I think that I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a new wheel for the NHC announcement videos at some point I just don't know when I'm going to do it but um I think I'm gonna get started on it today or this weekend smells like Clorox because I just cleaned it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take this and paint over Frosty here, oh joy, and he is going to be not there anymore. <laughs> and I'm gonna fix this one up and this is going to be the new wheel. And um, hopefully I can get it done before I do the next announcement video, but I don't know because that's only in a couple of days, I think. Um, so it may take me a while to actually find something to um, set this on and everything. Um, I want to get some nails and um, put place uh, put nails on the outside and have something that will um, <clears throat> flap a flapper I, I don't know what it's called but something that will you know help choose I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore right now but uh, yeah instead of having just a um, an arrow pointing have something where it is definitely going to be in one of the triangles because I had problems with um, with the old one where several times I have spun it and it has landed directly in between two of the choices so um, hopefully that will not be the case when I do the new one so um oh joy <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be working on probably this weekend and um, yeah I haven't really felt like recording much lately um i've been kind of depressed honestly so yeah i haven't really felt like recording and um <laughs> this morning i was like okay well i've got to record the mhc because it was supposed to go out yesterday and then i recorded it and i got like three minutes into it and i died <laughs> so i was like well that's what i get for you know doing it when i didn't actually want to record anything let me get this out of the way because i'm just sitting here hugging it and that's kind of weird um i would rather be hugging a teddy bear so, um, in case you didn't know, this, <laughs> this handsome young bear right here, this is Clark. Clark has been my teddy bear since I was five. So, yeah. But, um, there's a story behind Clark and maybe one day I will tell it. <sighs> yeah, so, um, but this is Clark. He usually sits back there, but since there's no place for him to sit anymore, I guess he'll go in my bedroom now. So, yeah, I haven't really felt like recording. Um, I need to stream and I haven't felt like doing that either, but I may stream later today because I have, um, I have gone through, you can bear, whoops, the wrong way. You can barely see down there. Um, there is <laughs> a computer monitor right there and then right there, you can just barely see it. That is my old computer that I used to have. That is my old desktop computer and, um, I stopped using it. Um, well, I pretty much stopped using it when I got my laptop because even though that is like an actual PC, like desktop PC, my laptop was more powerful and it could actually play Minecraft, but that is the very first computer that I ever played Minecraft on. So there we go. My very first Minecraft adventures were in that computer, which means that my old Minecraft worlds were also on that computer and I went through last weekend and I uh, turned it on and I got a bunch of files that I had on there because I had some um, 
<laughs> some fan fiction on there <laughs> that I had written. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I had that on there, just like a couple little things. And um, I had some pictures that I wanted to keep and I had some, um, some music on there that I wanted to keep. So I took all of that off and um, I got all of my old Minecraft worlds and they're all on a nice little flash drive. And um, I was thinking I might put those on here and open them in um, in my Minecraft on here and maybe stream and give you guys a tour or whatever. Um, just play around kind of in my old worlds and show you how terrible they were because they were really bad. The first creative world I had, oh my god, it was so it was so awful oh my gosh but um yeah oh and then there's like the very first survival world it may not have been the very first survival world it may have been the second one that I had um but it had the worst looking <laughs> the worst looking house I think I have ever built and it was a brick house and there's like no detail whatsoever it's really bad and I mean, this was in like Minecraft, like 1.3 something or 1.4. I can't remember. I'm not exactly sure, but it was, it was a while back, but uh, yeah, it's pretty funny to look at. So um, I thought that I might play around in those and show you guys that. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on what's going on <laughs> this afternoon. So yeah, um, I may do that, which could be kind of fun. I've been doing some editing today, so I've almost got every single thing edited that um, I need to have edited this month. Um, well, not technically, because there are a couple of things that I want to uh, record at some point. Uh, I've got a couple of um, Minecraft maps that I've been meaning to play, and I might finally be able to sit down and play them at some point. Um, once I, you know, feel in the mood to play and record and everything. And um, now that I don't have any more MHC videos <laughs> for the month, I'm going to need to fill it with something or just not fill it at all, which it's also a possibility. I could just have no videos for Mondays and Fridays and just stick with the other stuff that I got, which honestly sounds pretty good. But um, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, yeah, lots of things. Sorry, I didn't mean to show his butt. <laughs> Clark, gosh. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what's been going on. Been kind of not in the mood to record stuff and stream and talk to people in general. <laughs> oh, I did find out something kind of good at work. Uh, they do this thing every year where they take one, um, we have faculty and we have staff that work where I work. Um, in the library and it's like a whole library system so it's like several libraries all together and um, they do this thing every year where they give like a um, it's like the library and library. it's like the faculty and staff yearly award or something and I found out that I was nominated which is pretty cool didn't get it but I was nominated and I don't think I've ever been nominated before so not for that and yeah, kind of made me feel good. So uh, obviously there are some people that I work with that appreciate what I do, which is really, really nice to hear. So yeah. And I know that one of them was my boss, like the big boss over me. So even cooler. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but um, so that was kind of nice. But like I said, I didn't get it, but that's fine. Um, it's just an honor to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they always say at the Oscars or whatever? Okay, so I don't know what else to say. And I don't think that there were any like questions for me to answer or anything. This isn't really a coffee chat, but it kind of is because it's just me talking to you guys like I normally would. But um, I don't have any coffee. I have some cherry coke, if that counts. See, ta-da. Uh, not a sponsor. <laughs> I hate it when people do that in videos when they're like, <laughs> oh, I'm just going to drink this. Not a sponsor. It's like, yeah, um... I didn't think it was. You have like 200 subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, definitely not a sponsor. <laughs> uh, speaking of subscribers, I have like eight more to go on my um, gaming channel to be at 500. Wow. So I have this goal and I've had it since I started YouTube that every year I would get 100 subscribers. And 
I'm still doing pretty well with that. I'm eight away from 500, which is really nice because I'm almost through my fifth year on YouTube. So if I can get eight more subscribers by August, then I think I'm gonna be doing pretty well. Oh, but before I go, I forgot to say that I am going to be in my best friend's wedding at the end of May. So uh, that's coming up soon, which is really exciting. And um, <laughs> I have my bridesmaid's dress already. So yeah, um, it came uh, the day that I got back from the beach for the uh, for her bachelorette party, actually. And um, I was afraid that it wasn't gonna fit. And uh, the place that I had to order it from, that was the only place that you could order it from. You couldn't like go try on a dress somewhere and see if it fit, see which size would fit you the best and all of that. So I kind of had to, I had to measure myself, which was really fun. And then I had to um, kind of guess at which size would work the best for me. And um, apparently I guessed correctly because it fit perfectly. If it hadn't fit, there was no way I could send it back because they don't have a, a return policy. So yeah, I would have been out a lot of money. <laughs> Glad that didn't happen. Anyway, so, uh, but it looks pretty cool. It's like a navy, a dark navy dress that looks, it's got like a one shoulder kind of deal going on and it's looks a bit Greek looking. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not good with fashion. Uh, so yeah, um, sorry, I'm just like tossing Clark everywhere. But yeah, it fit, so that was good. I didn't have to worry about being out of a bunch of money and having to order another one and wait for the next one to show up and hope that it fit. Oh my god, that would have been terrible. But um, yeah, it fit really well, so that was good. Um, and now I just have to not gain any weight <laughs> before Memorial Day. Um, so I may have to start uh, cutting out some sweets from my diet and eating better and exercising more, which I should be doing anyway, but I don't because I don't like to do, because <laughs> I like sweets and I like to eat what I want and I don't like to exercise. Um, so yeah, it's kind of tough. So um, anyway, that's it. I will go now. I will leave you guys and um, I guess I'll start painting over Frosty the Snowman back there and start working on that. I've got, um, I bought, some um, whiteboard paper or something like that. I think that's what it's called, whiteboard paper. So um, I'll be able to use that and uh, cut it and put it on the Lazy Susan back there and hopefully that will work well enough. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but that's coming, uh, that should be here tomorrow or Monday. I'm not sure because it says it's going to be here tomorrow, but tomorrow's Easter and that just seems really weird that they would be delivering stuff on Easter Sunday. But I don't know, maybe they will. Anyway, so um, that's it. I'm sorry. I talked way too long. I will see you guys next time. Happy Easter if you celebrate Easter and if you don't, well, I don't know what to say to you. Happy Passover if you're Jewish. Happy spring. Whatever. See you guys next time. Bye!